You want to customize your forms with Amelia? Stay tuned. Hey guys, and welcome back to Amelia Tutorials. Now we've developed some new forms and with them, we've developed some new customized options. We already are past due on this tutorial video, but here we go. We will go through each of available, currently available customized options and we'll show you what you can do. When you access Amelia Customize, you can see all the new forms that we've released and the old Booking Forms 1.0. You'll notice forms in plural because these cover the old Booking Forms, which used to be the default ones before we released the new ones. And they are used for, as said here, step-by-step -step 1.0, catalog, search, events, and events calendar. What we forgot to mention is that customer and employee panels are also customizable through this form. Now, let me show you real quick what those look like. Now, this is the new catalog booking form. We've shown you this form in the previous video, so go ahead and check that out. This is the step-by-step -step booking form, the new 2.2.0 step-by-step booking form. This is the customer panel, and this is the events calendar. These last two are a part of the old booking forms 1.0. So let's go through those first. Now, booking forms 1.0, you can check out the previous video about this, so I won't go into any details, but in short, you can use the global colors, and here you can change the labels. You can show to display this field or hide it. You can go and browse through steps and configure everything one step at a time. Now, of course, this refers to this old step-by-step -step booking form, but you can change it to something else. For example, the event calendar booking form, which hasn't been redesigned yet. So the form colors in here, you can change the background, set it to be whatever this color is, red, reddish. You can change the text color, you can change the input color, and simply configure it the way you want to configure it. If you save it and we go back to the catalog, the calendar, events calendar booking form, you will see that this, these colors will now be applied here when we refresh the page. So when we refresh the page, we will see these colors that have been configured in the uh, old customized form when the events calendar is selected. Now, as you can see, the, these global colors will also be applied to the customer and the employee panel. So these are these colors that you see in here and they apply to the panels as well. Now, going back to why we're here. We are here for the new customized options for the new forms. Starting with the first one we released, the step-by-step -step booking form is relatively easy to configure. You need to select these global colors and to define each section. So under global colors, you can change the primary and state colors, which are these. Please select services, the error color. The, this is the success, this is the warning color. Go through them one at a time. The sidebar is, of course, this on the left hand side. You can change it to be in a different color than the rest of the form. You can change the text color in here. The content is on the right side. The input fields are these fields right here. So if you change it to white, they will be white. The drop downs also, when you click on it, the drop downs expand. So you can change the colors of those as well. Now, this is going to be ultra ugly, in my opinion. But anyway, I just want to show you how it looks like and what you can do. The calendar cannot be seen in this step. So let's go back and select the date and time selection. Now, when, while we're here, you can click on change colors and click on calendar. Now, you'll be able to change all these simply by changing the colors of each section. Buttons are in here. You can choose the primary background color, the text color on the primary button and the secondary button color. Uh, of course, what you can do with this new form is you can change the labels. So step title currently is date and time. And if you change it, 
the, the default label refers to your language. So the default label here could be select your time and it will show right here. The step content is below. So all slots selected and footer buttons like continue. You can say proceed and you can see it change in real time. Now when we go back, you can activate the recurring pop up and change the label in there. So the pop up title title could be recurring question mark pop up content. Do you want to repeat this appointment? Uh, do you want this appointment to be repeated? You can do whatever you want with this now. So yes, yes, it's going to be capitalized or no. Thank you. And it all shows up right here. So it's pretty easy to navigate, although there are a lot of options, but you need to go through these and set them up. And basically when you click on each uh, of these steps in here, you will be able to see the da data in real time. So you can choose the button type. If it's going to be filled, plain or just text. If it's going to even be displaying the header content right here. So recurrence, choose time you want to repeat the appointment. You can hide that. You can change all these labels, foot, footer buttons, page contents, repeat every day, week, month. We've tried to make this as customizable as possible so you guys can change whatever you want on every step in, in these uh, new forms. So payment segment, you can change the uh, payment method. The default label can be choose your payment method. I mean, whatever you want to do, it's pretty simple to to go through uh, the customized section and s simply configure the form the way you like it. You can hide the sidebar. You don't if you think you don't need it. You can hide the heading here, get in touch. You can simply you can remove the company phone, you can remove the company email. So these two company email and company phone are found in settings, uh, company details here. So you can, once you add the company website, once you add the email, once you add the phone, the email and the phone will be displayed right here. Now, this is all pulled from the settings. And these are these are examples that you can see in here. So please don't expect this form to show your actual services. So when you click on the initial step, show services, it will show category one service 41. This is just for show so you that you can configure your form. You can also change the language and adjust the form for the additional languages that you have also in general settings of Amelia. So in here, if you added additional languages, you can customize them through the form. Also, it allows you to customize the package form, which is also in the step by step booking form. And it allows you to customize the package selection, the uh, package information, uh, change the button types, change the labels inside, and so on. Now, going back to the forms that we have, we'll jump to the new catalog booking form. So this is the new catalog booking form, which we've shown in the previous video. So simple, like the previous uh, customized section, you get to configure global settings, which are fonts. When you change it, you can see it right here. So the forms the customized sections are changing stuff in real time. So you can actually see the changes that you're making. Now, if you guys want a custom font, you can download it and simply select custom font, set the URL. So basically you would be downloading a TTF file and you would be adding it somewhere in your FTP. For example, WP content plugins uh, or WP content uploads fonts folder and in there you would be pasting the TTF file. When you paste it, you copy the URL to that file 
and you define the font family in here. That's it. Once you click on publish form, that new font will be available on the front end. So let's go back. Now when you click on categories, this is what you see. You can change currently, you can change the button types. You can uh, hide this side color on, on, on the left here. You can show the total number of services, which is right here, or you can hide it, whatever you want to do. Now we'll also be upgrading this so you will be able to upload images in the categories so they will look a lot nicer, but currently this is the way they look. Um, when you go to services and packages overview, it's a whole different story because you can see all the images that you've uploaded in the service gallery and the default image of the service will be shown in here. So let me show you real quick what that looks like. Now when we go to barbershop, we can see these two images and they look pretty nice, don't they? Um, now these two images are these two images are, as you can see, shaving. This is the default image of the shaving service, the one that you see in here. If you upload the gallery, once you click on it, it will be shown right here. For example, if we go to beard trim, you can see this image, which is in the beard trim service, uploaded in the gallery. So. Um, in there, you can configure the button types again. You can hide the search form, filter by employee, filter by location, all packages, services, uh, filter option. So you can hide almost everything here if you really need to show a plain, simple catalog of your services. So we're basically hiding everything now what you can see is package service continue that's it you can show display the field for booking uh, for the booking option on the employee dialog which is right here in this section in the employee dialog when you access here view employees you can choose book this service when we go back you're able to configure service details. So this is the description you configure in the service. These are the service. This service is available in these packages if you created a package that includes this service and so on. The booking form itself leads you back to the step-by-step -step booking form. So once you start booking an appointment with the catalog booking form, as you can see, the pop-up is the step-by-step -step booking form. So in here, you get to select the employee and continue and simply continue as if you were booking through the step-by-step -step booking form. Of course, you can go back to the catalog form so you can continue editing the details of this form and customizing it to suit your needs. Going back to the last, currently last new form is the events list booking form. When you click on continue, you will be able to adjust it just the way that you're able to adjust the previous catalog and step-by-step -step booking forms. So you can change the fonts, you can change the colors, and you can also see the changes in real time. So once you change this, let's say do this, you will see everything in real time. Now you won't see your events, but you will see everything that you do in real time. You can change the buttons in here. So the primary button color will be white-ish. The text in it is gonna be reddish, something like that. And of course, you can go through each step. So the events list, you can hide the step title, which is the how many events are available. Step filters which when you click on the filters, you can see the event type, which is the tag of the event, the event location and the date. So you can hide these filters. You can hide the event image. You can play around with the customized section and configure it the way you want it to look. The event info shows 
the details of the event. Now this looks ugly. Let's change these colors. So let's say text color is this, content text color is this. There we go. Now we can actually see what we're doing. And of course, you get to go through every step in the booking form and configure every section individually, change the way the buttons appear, change the labels. For example, select tickets can be book tickets. The heading tickets can be changed. Select the number of tickets that you want to book for each ticket type. Please make your selection and so on. Under options, as I said, you can change the button types and the congratulations screen also allows you to change the buttons. The customer panel button can be displayed, which is currently on the left here. It's pretty invisible with this plane because of the way I configured these uh, colors. But anyway, when we click on filled, it shows up and you can hide it. This allows your customers to log into the customer panel as soon as they book an event. Now, feel free to play with the customized section. It may look like a lot and actually it is a lot because we really tried to provide you guys with all possible options for changing all the labels, for adjusting the display types, whether you're going to show images or not, are you going to show side colors or not, are you going to uh, choose the fill button type on the first step and then the just text button type in the second step. It's really up to you. We are trying to enhance it even more, but currently these new forms provide you with a lot more flexibility than the old customized section did. Before you go, don't forget to check out our website. We've got a summer sale going on and you can grab discounts up to 40% depending on the license that you choose. So if you haven't gotten your hands on Amelia yet, make sure to do that right now. And while you're there, don't forget to like, share and subscribe.